And we're here chilling with C4 for the human block, shot by Jack Stills. Yes, sir. C4, producer, probably heard of him. When did you start producing? Let me see, producing. I started um, when I was 18. I was introduced to uh, Fruity Loops FL Studio at 17 by my brother and my cousin. But, you know what I'm saying, I was playing basketball and the sports. So, it was, you know what I'm saying, when I graduated high school, I was like, shit, I got to find something to do with my career, you know what I'm saying. And school, I knew school was for me. That's why I didn't go to, I could have went to play basketball, you know what I'm saying. But I'm like, shit, I'm going to waste four years of my life and play ball off and to find some shit I really want to do. So, you know what I'm saying, I picked up producer. And from there, you know what I'm saying, 23 now, so. Still young, 23 now, and you work with a lot of people, a lot of coveted artists in the game, Gucci, yeah. Wiz Khalifa, uh, a lot of artists with big names. Explain why those artists gravitate towards you. got a different sound, the EDM sound you use in your beats. Explain why do you even use those? Like, that's different, it's pretty different, why? I mean, EDM, it, it kind of, it kind of, you know what I'm saying, works with me as a person. Because EDM is no is no control, there's no direction, there's no boundaries with, you know what I'm saying, that, that trap sound. So you can do whatever the fuck you want to do, whatever. If you want to break down here, if you want to snare here, you know what I'm saying, something like the norm. So, okay. And you know what I'm saying, that's how I kind of go about it, you know what I'm saying? People who don't know what EDM is, it's electronic dance music, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, electronic dance music. It really, you know what I'm saying, the, the the origin of the sound came from, you know, trap music like Jeezy and, you know what I'm saying, like uh, Gucci and all them. And Waka, Waka really, you know what I'm saying, put the final stamp on it. And then from there it just kind of evolved into, yeah. it, it kind of merged from like house music and dubstep and then okay. all that to one. You're like one of the few producers that I've seen out there that claim to be out there, but you're one of the few that I know that they're into fashion. Right, right, right. You, you, you like clothes. Hey, hey. Explain that. Explain it that. ain't no producers on no fashion, man. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. Y'all are just not wearing true religious, man. Y'all stop it. Man. But you, you, you ask for custom made clothes. You need, you're, explain why. You're not the typical guy. You're not five foot ten. 180 pounds, you're, you're tall, so you need clothes that's suitable for you, right? Right, right. Got you into the fashion? I go about it two ways, like, for one, for one, you know what I'm saying, me being kind of tall and, and slinky, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's hard, it's very weird, like, clothes get weird on this. So, like, I rather have my stuff tailored and custom made, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And the other way I go about it is, you know what I'm saying, you break it down. You go to Lenny's Mall and it's like, it's on like a couple stores and everybody shop there, you know what I'm saying? So you end up looking like everybody. And that shit is so whack, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, so like, I don't really agree with this shit. Point blank period, I don't agree with it. So I'd rather just not, you can ask anybody, I'd be at the studio with basketball shorts on and jays every time they see me. Just so I don't look like nobody else. Cause it, it pissed me off. Like I'm gonna spend 150, 200 dollars on some pants. And next thing I'm gonna You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That don't make I, sense to me. So. Kind of reason I got it. Yeah, so. I know what you mean. Yeah. But if you were to say you had a designer to make you whatever you wanted for the day, who would that guy be, designer wise? Cause music is taking over this like fashion and music are coming back as one. Like that whole trap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it's Gucci is wearing fitted pants as opposed to what he used to wear. Right. So explain, explain like a designer who you look up to or a clothing brand. You would say you saw that. I mean, I can't really put. You know what I'm saying? I can't say. I can't say. Cause I, you know, so I just like anything that looks good. You know what I'm saying to me. So I can't say who is my favorite. It's just I like, you know what I'm saying, shit that look good. So, I mean, I could I could wear shit like you know the the leather jogging pants, all this stuff is in 
in style or whatever. But you won't catch me wearing that every day. You you can't look at me and be like, that's that's C four style. Nah, you know what I'm saying? I might wear something totally different. You know what I'm saying? The next yeah. day. So just whatever really look good though. But as of right now, you know what I'm saying? Kai, of human right now is my guy. I want some clothes made. That's what I'm gonna go to. Hey, hey, appreciate it. And that's being real, you know what I'm saying? That ain't even sure, sure. that's just being real.